Two, oh, wow. Wow. What the heck? Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop, boop. Yo, 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 what up, guys? Today, we're super excited. I'm really excited. Today, we're very excited to experience our first driving movie experience. I have been wanting to do this for so, so long, but we just never get to have a chance. And now we have whole things planned to eat as well. So very excited. Yeah. Uh, we're not really big movie goers just because we don't want to, I don't know. I think it's just really more the fact that we don't want to sit in gross chairs but we'll sit in our own gross chairs. Oh yeah, we're watching Super Mario, but it's really more for the experience. I could care less what we watch, to be honest. I think it's really the experience that we want, want to try. What's super nice is that it's dog friendly, kind of. We just got to keep him in the car. Uh, and if we do let him out, he's got to be on a leash and we got to pick up after him, which is super simple, whatever. Because uh, we've been looking for some of these kind of dog friendly activities to do because we have waffle and this uh, this actually came up. Another thing that got us really excited about drive-ins is the fact that we can actually bring our own food. That's another thing with movie theaters, you can't bring your own food. You gotta pay for like overpriced stuff and it's not as good as the stuff outside. <laughs> so there's a couple places that we wanna hit before we get to uh, the drive-in theater. Yeah, and since it's in Brooklyn, so we just pick up along the way. All the restaurants that we are interested in would be in Brooklyn as well. Yep, and we're going to the supermarket prior to pick up some snacks and drinks. So that's gonna be exciting. Let's go! Heading to the snacks aisle. Mm. Oh, this is new. Oh, should we get that? Okay, let's try it. Yes. Yeah, this is should new we try too. this too? Koi Mori? Yeah. Right, let's try that. Gotta keep Waffle happy. Yeah, this little uh, princess over here. Is that good enough? I think that's a pretty good haul, huh? For a movie. Yeah, for a movie. <laughs> We're only there for like an hour and a half. <laughs> like eating, like, it's gonna be like a full day. Now we get drinks? Let's get drinks. Guess we didn't get to see the actual view. Yeah, but we can still walk out and explore. Yeah. There's a screen three, there's screen two, and then the main screen, I think, screen one. I think they also have chairs. So yeah, so you can like, buy like your own ticket for just one person. Yeah, or like if you don't have a car, you can still come here. Yeah, for yeah, this. yeah. But the this view, view is really the, nice. The view. And what's like, I think what you said was very nice is that New York City is always hard to find parking. Yeah, when you're so attending this. You don't event, have to think about to... getting parking. That's such a, such a blessing. And Waffle is happy. Discover it's a new spot unlocked. <laughs> this would be a lot nicer at a warmer weather. <laughs> it's so cold. I really don't think it's that bad though. Really? It's so cold. This is great view. There's like the Empire State Building and there's the World Trade Center. I can see, is that a, that's not Brooklyn Bridge, is it? No, that's, that's Manhattan, Manhattan Bridge. Bridge. <laughs> so the Skyline Drive-In, you get a very nice view. Uh, particularly if you're at screen one or the main screen, it's one of the best views of like Manhattan the right, Skyline you get you to get. see like Empire State Building, yeah. World Trade Center, just, it's great. Yeah, and and actually screen one, that's actually also where the concession stand is. So you'll get just a small window where uh, the concession stand is. I think you can get popcorn pretzels, candy, just sort of normal stuff that you get like a movie theater. But um, you can also bring your own food. Yeah, which is so, what we did. So. <laughs> there's not ne really necessary to go get that popcorn. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's also a seating area, like a like a picnic 
uh, area where there's a bunch of picnic tables. And I thought that was really cool because you can get there like maybe an hour before your actual movie time. And you can just sit there and chill, eat, eat your food that you brought or buy stuff at the concession stand, which is pretty awesome. And just enjoy the, uh, the, the great views. The two places, we, the, place, the first place we got was, com, uh, was from the Commodore. And it's a bar that sells really good fried chicken, apparently. I've never had them before, but I, so I wanted to try, it was on my list. And we wanted, so we got a plate of fried chicken and also nachos because we're watching a movie. And it seemed it's fitting. Yeah, it seemed fitting. <laughs> so, two, oh, wow. Wow. What the heck? Is it that big? What is that? Oh, the nachos. Oh, this is nachos, okay. Oh, so the container just wasn't big enough. Okay. All right, I got it. So okay. this is all nachos right here. Jeez. This is like really big. It packed out. You can smell like the cilantro and... Yeah. And cheese. It's Ooh, really it good. Really I good. wish this is warm. It seems but heavy too. Yeah, it is pretty heavy. Really? Decent size. Ooh, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Here comes the chicken. I can smell it already. I've been smelling it this entire way. Chicken. Whoa, that actually looks really good. Smells so good. Whoa, that smells good. good. I can't wait. Is this three pieces? They it looks a lot three. more. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot more. Maybe it's just big pieces. Yeah. All right. Did I like do was dive in. Yeah. That's what was really weird about these two places was that you can't order it beforehand you have to get there to order it if you wanted it to go most people just stay there to eat but for us like we couldn't even get it on like uber eats or even call call was like a calling was even like a, almost a like hassle. a like a bad number yeah exactly it was weird okay i'm gonna dive in this is huge this is one piece oh there's biscuit oh Ew. biscuits right, right right okay that okay, makes so sense this is one piece mm. Oh, that's crispy. Okay, I had a bite that is just the skin. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. It's very like southern fried chicken. I don't know if it's the piece that I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Not as juicy as I expected. The the meat isn't as flavored. Like the flavor didn't seep in, but like the flavor is all around the, the, the skin. Still can't compare it to Sylvia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sylvia's is definitely like top notch. <clears throat> it's funny, people like live around who live around here get like a free movie every day. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I can see some apartments there already. Right. Alright, the next spot we got was Wen Wen from Brooklyn. This is the same owners from uh, 886 in Manhattan. They really do they do like Taiwanese food real well. It's like a modern twist too, so it's 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 really good. It's a little more on the expensive side, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we got the popcorn, popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. Then it's like the hot honey. Oh yeah, you can smell the like the honey. So got the fried tofu. Yeah, like the crispy tofu. It's supposed to be like a stinky tofu, I think, but I don't got know. Got a if tater it's, too. Yeah, the tater to the locals. Yep. All right, last but not least, so we got the roux fun. So they actually put the roux the pork on the side separately and you just put it over the the yeah. rice oh yeah oh that looks so good this smells, Ooh, really, it smells good. really good too here we go it's really good the the pork is just like immersed very well with the rice it's a little on the oh, salty it's side they really like cut up the pork and like infuse it into like a stew, make it into like a stew almost. Yeah, it's more like a sauce, saucy. Yeah. I like the, the savoriness. All right, next we have the popcorn chicken, which looks, also looks good too. So, so they call popcorn chicken, but it's not like a small piece of chicken. This is actually pretty big. Mm, it's crispy. It yeah, tastes like peanut the butter. It tastes like the garlic peanut butter. It tastes peanuts, yeah. No, that's true. I think they're definitely a little bit more modern, mm -hmm. overall speaking. This is good, though. Mm -hmm. 
Now we got the stinky tofu, well not stinky tofu, the crispy tofu. I wonder if it's stinky though. I don't think so, I don't <laughs> smell it. Yeah, I don't smell anything either. There you go. That's like the tofu. It looks like a mala. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Like a Szechuan peppercorn. Oh yeah, it's a mala. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh, it's so interesting. This is a good one though. It's a mala. Yeah. Fried tofu. It's a nice surprise. I didn't expect this. Mm-hmm. I think overall it is a little bit more creative. Yep. All right. So that's pretty much everything we got. We're gonna slowly eat. The movie's about to start. So we'll let you know what we think about uh, this drive-in theater experience. One of the things I have to mention is their bathroom is not porta potty. See, they, they actually have a real bathroom. Oh, nice. um, if you could go early, that's great because you have a, a brighter path. Um, when you go, when I went, it was when the movie just started and it was getting dark. You do have to walk down a very dark alley. <laughs> can be a little bit sketchy feeling, um, but it actually goes into a building that's like a shared restaurant or co-working space. And then mm. there's actually, it's a unisex um, bathroom. It's like actual stalls. Oh, that's And they're cool. actually really nice. Oh, um, but right. it is a little bit creepy when you're walking down there in a dark alley. So to get tickets, you'd have to go online to buy tickets uh, prior to your arrival. And it's about $55 per car, which is actually kind of expensive. Uh, but you can have up to seven people in the car. So it's a great activity for families. Yeah, and it's also dog friendly. So you can bring your dog and must be with you at all times and can keep them in the car if you do need to let them out. Um, you must keep them on a leash and just make sure you clean up after your dog. Just be a responsible owner. So what do you think of the Super Mario movie? <laughs> I thought I thought it was cute. Uh, I think if I was like nine, ten years old, I uh, definitely would have found this really cool. Uh, but now it's, I mean, the storyline was okay, I guess. I mean, I did think it was really cute that they had it set in uh, Brooklyn and they gave Mario and Luigi kind of like a backstory. There's a whole bunch of different like Easter eggs and I loved how they referenced all the video games and stuff. So in general, I thought it was a cute movie. What did you think? Uh, similar feelings. I think the Super Marios were originally a cartoon character, so it wasn't a big surprise or anything. I like how they do have a storyline to it and add a little bit near city to it. Make our movie visit a little bit more special because we're actually in Brooklyn um, without spoiling spoiling too much mm -hmm. there. Um, overall, I think this is a movie that I probably wouldn't go out of way to go to a movie theater to watch. <laughs> <laughs> if it came to my, I don't know, Netflix or something, I would definitely watch it for mm -hmm. leisure. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was cute. It was cute. <laughs> and then that song, that song was really cute. Peaches, 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 peaches. So, I mean, what did you think about the whole driving experience? I actually really like this. I think I definitely didn't expect something like this would happen in New York City, given how compact all the spaces are. And the fact that we can bring our own food, and we definitely had a blast there. Um, I think movie selections were not so great and the screens are looking a little cheap out. Um, but overall, I do think I enjoyed it. It's a really nice way to spend a night that's relaxing, but not just uh, sitting on your couch. You can sit in your car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a different, different environment. environment. <laughs> How about you? I thought it was I thought it was a good experience. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the cons, yeah, like you said, the um, the screen was a little small. We were like the front row also, um, and like I don't know if it's because we weren't on the main screen, but it just felt a little a little small, and you just didn't really get that movie theater feeling, that movie theater vibe where it's just like big screen, surround sound, and everything. Um, but I mean, I guess it depends on the movie you're watching. Otherwise, I definitely enjoyed myself. I thought bringing our own food was one of the best aspects of, of this drive-in movie theater. 
and being able to just sit in our own space and talk amongst ourselves also we didn't have to be quiet or anything we could just yeah. watch and make comments and stuff but i mean i thought it was i thought it was a great experience and i think this is something that i would probably go back to you know and i must say don't you love that you don't need to find a parking space in brooklyn yeah that's that's such a blessing i think finding parking is the worst especially in new york city so being not having to worry about that that's so nice we definitely again we definitely enjoyed ourselves so you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe we release videos every week see you next week bye